All right, so look, man. Now, a few days ago, I made a video about a story. It took place in Columbus, Ohio, most specifically, a suburb of Columbus called Blandon Township. A young 21-year-old pregnant woman, she was murdered by a cop outside of a Kroger grocery store. Not to give you a little more details, just in case you're not familiar with the story at all, there's a liquor store inside of this Kroger. Her and two other girls was accused of stealing liquor. The store called the police. By the time she made it to a car, police was there to confront her. It was two different officers. One officer was standing at the driver's side of the car, trying to convince her to turn off her engine and to step out of the car. The other officer, he was standing in front of the car. She refused to step out. The second officer drew his weapon, pointed it at her. She asked the officers, are you guys about to shoot me? And then she hit the gas, bumped into the officer that was standing in front of the vehicle, and he shot her through the windshield. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. Now I'm with you guys. It's crazy that this girl lost her life. But now that the video proof is actually out there that she was stealing, I mean, what are you supposed to say about it? When the story first uh, broke, it was just speculation. We didn't know if she was or wasn't the, uh, the thief. It could have been mistaken identity. Because when the cops did confront her, she told them that it was uh, the other girls that was in the store and not her. But we literally see video of her inside of the store stealing liquor now. Like she stole like six or seven bottles of liquor. Like you're pregnant at Kroger stealing liquor. Like, first of all, why are you still in liquor? But I get it, I guess. Hey, it's going to happen. But why are you pregnant still in liquor? That's the question. This entire situation could have been avoided. No matter if you're still in the liquor to sell it, or if you're still in the liquor to drink it, either way, you're pregnant. You shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Y'all get what I'm saying? And then the officer gave you, like, seven or eight different chances to get out of the car. I have to be honest, the guy was asking pretty nicely. It was the second officer who escalated the situation. The first one, he was cool. Like it was so many chances, bro. She could have easily just gotten out of the car. It's only liquor. You're not about to do 30 years in prison. At the end of the day, you would have still had your life. Your unborn child would have had a chance to have a life. Like it's not that serious. Y'all got to think about y'all kids sometimes. I get it. The inflation is crazy. People struggling out here, man. But there's not an excuse for this. The same way she drove her car to Kroger to go steal liquor, she could have drove that same car and uh, delivered DoorDash. Amazon Flex. It's sad enough that she was only 21 years old. But man, her child didn't even get a chance to see life. Rest in peace to them both. It's a sad situation. And I do agree, that cop was being extra. I'm referring to the second cop that was standing in front of the vehicle. Had his gun pointed at the girl. All she did was steal liquor. Calm down. You caused people to panic in this situation. Not giving her an excuse. But that could be the reason why she actually hit the gas. And then the girl barely grazed the guy. It's not like he, she ran him over. It was as if he was just waiting for her to touch him with the car so that way he could legally kill her. Because as we all know, a moving vehicle is classified as a deadly weapon. Once she hit him with the car, technically, he could shoot. But this situation here, I don't know. It might be a little tricky because, again, the girl barely hit the gas. She stole some alcohol. Why is a gun pointed at her in the first place? She didn't have a weapon. Y'all would have been reported that. So if I was the family, I will definitely try to take some legal action. But at the same time, I wouldn't hold my breath on it because she is on video hitting a police officer with her vehicle. And she is on video stealing. That's just going to be a tough one to call, in my opinion. But nonetheless, condolences to the family, the friends, and rest in peace to Kia Young and her unborn child. That's my thoughts on it. How do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comments. Like the video, subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm gone.